So you guys want to know how to remove Roblox textures. Now, the first thing that you want to do is go to Blogstrap. I'll put this link in the description. Download it right here. And once you have it downloaded, open it up. Now, before we do anything, yeah, I'll show you my before and after texture. So, so now, look, I've I don't have or I have my Roblox textures. You know, kind of looks ugly. You know, you you don't want to lag anymore. You want it to be smooth, easier to see. Leave Roblox. Now, now I'm gonna send you guys a notepad. Now this notepad, it's gonna be link. It's gonna be link in the description. You can download it. You can scan it if you want. It does not have any viruses. But you want to first. Okay, so this is what you need. All of this. Now I'll put this notepad in the link in the in the link of the description. It should be like a Google Drive or something. I really don't know, but yeah. You want to like, open it up. And then do you copy and play, open block trap up too? And you want to do fast flags, do manage your own fast flags. And you do add new. Actually, no, no, no. I think you do, no, yeah, you do import JSON. And then you want to copy and paste this. And then you want to paste it in here. Do OK. Do that. Do save. Then rejoin Roblox. And bam, you don't have any textures anymore. Everything's clean, smooth, nice, not laggy. And yeah, that's basically how you do textures. Now, if you guys also want to increase FPS. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, yeah. If you guys want to increase FPS, I think you go to. Do, ma uh, do fast flags, do frame rate limit, and do 999. So it's like there's no limit to how much your FPS can go up to because. Roblox caps it at 60, right? And then you can do a lot of things like change your cursor, change your font, which uh, that'll be for another video if you guys want me to make one for that one. But yeah, other than that, yeah, that's how you do Roblox textures. Thank you.